Welcome to my How Healthy Are You weekly educational podcast. My name is Dr. Thomas Brewer. I'm a PhD chemist and nutritional blood microscopist. Today is June 6, 2022, and this is podcast number 125. First thing I want to mention is phone ordering. So the phone ordering number you've all been using has been discontinued uh, in its replacement, or at least as a replacement. Uh, just use my phone line, which is the business line, 702-372-8413. So the other number you were using has been discontinued. Most people order online anyway, and so uh, that phone line really wasn't being used that much. Okay, today's podcast is on the hidden cause of arthritis, or at least one hidden cause of arthritis. This is especially true for arthritis in the knuckles and the knees, but it does pertain to other areas of the body. If you remember two weeks ago, I had a large section in the newsletter on arthritis where I talked about things you can do to alleviate arthritis discomfort. This one is something unique and different because it's something I didn't cover two weeks ago, and that is iron overload. So iron overload has a medical term called hemochromatosis. Well, it's easier just to say iron overload. And excess iron is very detrimental to the body, and that's what I'm going to be talking about the main causes of people getting iron overload is molasses supplementation or molasses consumption, multivitamins or, or multiminerals that contain iron. And just as a side note, our Complete Vitamin Plus was reformulated a few years ago to specifically eliminate iron just for this problem so that people don't um, subject themselves to hemochromatosis or iron overload as a result of taking our multivitamin. So again, no iron in the Complete Vitamins Plus, and this is the reason why. Another cause for excess iron or iron overload is too much red meat combined with high glycemic index carbohydrates. So I've talked a while ago when, with respect to longevity, and I mentioned something called AGE, Advanced Glycation End Products. And basically these form when you combine sugar with protein or sugar with fat. Bottom line is sugar's bad. Well, these uh, high glycemic index carbohydrates when combined with meat lead to these Advanced Glycation End Products uh, a bad thing because it, it puts stress on the liver and iron gets uh, maintained in the liver. There's no way to get rid of it. So excess iron is very, very toxic to the body. In fact, our body has no mechanism to eliminate iron naturally. The only way for us to get rid of it naturally without consuming something is uh, to bleed. So that's one way to get rid of iron. It's it's actually an old school way to get rid of excess iron. So like I said, excess iron, very bad for the liver. It's also bad for the pancreas. It's also bad for the heart. And therefore, excess iron leads to diabetes, and and that's a result of pancreas issues. It also leads to fatigue, and, and that's a result of liver and heart challenges. So in addition, a lot of something most people don't know, uh, some pathogens live off of iron. Therefore, excess iron often leads to excess infections. Now, one thing we all know about iron and, uh, well, actually not just iron, but the liver is Tylenol, very bad for the liver. And like I mentioned, high glycemic index foods like sugar and high fructose corn syrup and grains they lead to a fatty liver, and like I said, when the liver is fatty, it holds more iron, and this is a detriment. That's why you don't want to eat high glycemic index foods. You want to eat lots and lots of vegetables, and that's the solution 
for hemochromatosis is eating fiber, especially from vegetables. Now, there's something called phytic acid, and normally that's considered a bad thing. I've talked about it previously. Uh, the reason it's considered a negative is it blocks our absorption of minerals. Well, in this case, phytic acid would help us if there's excess iron in the body. So things aren't always 100% bad. So one way to get this phytic acid is a supplement known as IP, P as in Paul, 6, IP6. But there's other things you can do. First thing is stop taking iron supplements if you have arthritis just to check and see if that's the cause of your arthritis. As far as foods you can consume, the good ones are green tea, and, and green tea has numerous other health benefits. Cilantro, which I've mentioned before for removing toxins from the body, but it will also help remove excess iron. And like I had said way back at the beginning, getting rid of blood, donating blood is a common solution and seeing if your arthritis improves uh, right after giving blood. But uh, very important, watch out for the iron supplements and watch out for excess red meat. Don't combine the uh, meat or the protein foods with the sugars or, or high glycemic index carbohydrates. Green tea, easy solution. Cilantro, add that to your salad, easy solution. Now there's a couple of other minerals, that, or at least one other mineral, that we don't want too much of. So I already, I already talked about iron, but the other one is calcium. If you get too much of it, it's hard to eliminate. Now, we all need calcium, and we need plenty of calcium. Most of the time when I look at someone's blood, I can see they're calcium deficient. But if you flip over to the other side where you have excess calcium, it's harder to eliminate the calcium. So that's what I have for this week's podcast. Thank you for listening, and please comment on the podcast.